Introduction to Factoring Quadratic Expressions Before we talk about factoring, let's first review a little on polynomials. Algebra tiles Algebra tiles are manipulatives that use pieces of squares and rectangles to represent the three different terms in a quadratic expression. In this video, we will use large purple squares to represent x squared, the area of a square with size x units long. Large yellow squares mean negative x squared. We note that squares cannot have negative areas, but we need something visual to help us see the negative part of the expressions. Purple rectangles have length x units and width 1 unit long. So their areas are one square unit. Yellow rectangles are used to indicate negative x. Small purple squares have side lengths 1, so their areas are one square unit. Small yellow squares represent negative 1. Let's look at a quick example. We want to express 3x squared subtract 4x plus 1 using algebra tiles. For the x squared term, because the coefficient is positive 3, we use a purple square to represent x squared. We need three of them in total. Next, for the x term, the coefficient is negative 4, so we use four yellow rectangular strips. Lastly, for the constant term, we only need one small purple square to represent the positive value 1. Let's expand the product of two binomials using algebra tiles. We want to expand x plus 2 by 2x minus 3. When we multiply two numbers by each other, we can imagine that we are trying to find the area of a rectangle. Let's say the width is x plus 2 and the length is 2x minus 3. So, we will set up the space as follows. First, we we'll use algebra tiles to label the width and the length of the rectangle. The width is x plus 2, and the length is 2x minus 3. Next, we fill in each row as if we are filling in a multiplication table x multiplied by x is x squared. x multiplied by x is another x squared. x multiplied by negative 1 is negative x. We get two more negative x's in the remaining two slots. We repeat the same process for the next two rows. And we have completed our rectangle. If we count the tiles, we have 2x squared subtract 3x plus 4x minus 6. We can collect like terms in the expression. Note that the sum of x and negative x is 0. So we can put them together visually like this and see that they become 0. So after simplifying, we have 2x squared plus x subtract 6 as the expanded form. These pieces do not make a rectangle, but that's okay because we want to simplify the expression. Now we're ready to factor quadratic expressions. When we factor, we start from a trinomial, and if it can be formed into a rectangle, then we can write the expression as a product of the length multiplied by the width. In other words, we are doing the opposite of expanding the product of two binomials. Example 1. Factor x squared plus 3x plus 2. We know that we have one large purple square, three purple rectangular strips, and two small purple squares. The question is, how do we make a rectangle using these pieces? Pause the video and think about how you can make a rectangle. First, we place the large square down. Then, 
replace the small squares at the bottom right of the large square in a column or a row. Here, I have placed them in a column. Then, we use the three rectangle strips to fill in the space. One, two, and three. Now we have a rectangle. The length of this rectangle is x plus 2. The width is x plus 1. So the factor form of x squared plus 3x plus 2 is bracket, x plus 2, close bracket, and then open bracket again, x plus 1, close bracket. Example 2. Factor 2x squared minus x minus 3. We can use two large purple squares, one yellow rectangular strip, and three small yellow squares to represent the expression. Just like the previous question, we will align the large squares in a row at the upper left, and then the small squares in a row at the lower right. We have one yellow rectangular strip left. Let's say I want to fill the columns using the same color. I would need to turn the rectangular strip vertically. We want to fill this empty space with yellow rectangular strips. From the empty space, we know that we would need two more yellow rectangular strips. When we add two extra yellow rectangular strips, we need to add two extra purple strips as well, so that the sum of the extra strips remains zero because we cannot change the coefficient of the original expression. When we add up all the strips together, I need to have negative x. Next, we place the strips to form a large rectangle. The width of the large rectangle is x plus 1. Its length is 2x subtract 3. So the factor form is x plus 1 multiplied by 2x subtract 3. We can expand this expression and we will have 2x squared subtract x subtract 3 back. Let's change how we put the yellow rectangular strip. What if we put it in a row first so that the whole row is the same color? Then we would need one more yellow rectangular strip to recreate a complete row. So we will have to add one purple rectangular strip as well. However, we now have some empty space to fill in before we can make a large rectangle. We would need to add two more purple rectangular strips to make it work. But in this case, the sum of the extra strips added will not equal to zero. So this approach does not work. What if we put the small squares in one column instead? Then we can put the yellow rectangular strip with the column. We need to fill the empty space with rectangular strips. We would need six purple rectangular strips to make each column the same color. However, the sum of the extra strips added will not be zero. So this approach does not work. If we keep the three small squares in a column, we can also put the yellow rectangular strip in one of the rows. However, now we have two different empty slots to fill in. Things are getting worse with this approach. We found out that there are at least three ways to do it wrong, but only one way to do it correctly. Now that we know what factoring means, in the next video, we will talk about how to factor quadratic expressions without relying on algebra tiles. Thank you for watching.